Iron Lords Podcast. Everyone and welcome to the Iron Lords Podcast. First look of a game called Hades by Supergiant Games. Now, what I thought this game was was a little bit of a sleeper for me. Now, I never originally played it back when it originally came out. Uh, I only recently got into playing it uh, because of it coming out of its uh, early access. Now, when I started playing it, I thought to myself, oh man, it's another type of roguelike that's a top-down. What What am I going to do here? Am I going to like it? Am I not going to oh like my it? God. Oh man, I don't know. And then I, I started playing it, and Beyond it's here. so good. Now, it's a little bit different than the normal, you know, type of roguelike game where you have that uh, that type of ability to get your gear over and over and over again. So, what ends up happening when you're playing Hades is you're going to be ending up going through the game as playing as one of Hades' sons, and he is trying to escape the underworld. Now, throughout this time, what you're going to end up doing is you're going to end up um, getting keys and getting gear to make your character stronger to allow you to then end up trying to leave the underworld. Now, the reason why this is super what? interesting is because you're going to die a lot and you're going to die often. Now, I played this for about two and a half, three hours and I got instantly hooked and I want to play more of it and I want to get better at it. Now, the game can, comes up with you being able to get spe special abilities from people that are other gods like Zeus, Aphrodite, Dionysus. Uh, you're going to get all these different people to be coming and helping you out. Now, what's really, really interesting is every time you end up getting a power-up, you have to make a decision on what you're going to do with that power-up. If you're going to end up using it to increase your main weapon, if you're going to use it to incre increase your ranged weapon uh, or your dash or what you're going to end up doing, or you're going to have you know buffs that are going to be only temporary. So going through that process, you're going to mm -hmm. end up wanting to know more and more and more what you're going to end up doing, where you're going to end up going with it. Now... I play, like I said, I played for a little bit of time, and I w checked out the way that they end up doing the underworld. There, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. There's so many different things you could you could do with this game, so I'm just gonna briefly talk about um, weapons. Uh, you're gonna have the access to multiple different weapons. Uh, each of them have very unique abilities. You got a shield, a bow, a spear, and then your sword. Those are the only ones I was able to unlock. I don't know if there's any more than that, but those are the ones that I saw uh, when I started. It looked like there was a, a pedestal yeah, area for really two right. more, so I wonder if those two more are going to be there also. Now, uh, throughout that time, you're going to end up finding more people throughout the whole entire game, so you're going to find more of your... Um, more of your gods that are going to help give you buffs over time. Now, you're going to be able to get yourself stronger by using these oh. certain types of like oils or gems or whichever you want to call it to be able to place into your mirror, which is going to permanently buff you. And then you're going to have other abilities like increasing your your home area. So you have these cosmetics that you can end up changing in addition to being able to give you little buffs uh, from certain areas. So there's oh. a lot of little aspects of the game that make it vastly more in-depth than you think it would be. So throughout the whole entire time, oh. you're going, okay, well, Easy what's going to be a better decision? I really do I need you. a key for this? Do I need to be able to do this? It, it takes really? time. Over, over time, you're just going to have to keep playing and playing and playing. Now, when it comes to the long-term effects of this game, like I said, I was hooked. Like, I wanted to keep playing. And I had to end up getting off because of uh, family stuff going on. But yes. I was like, I'm going to keep playing. I want to keep playing one more time, one more time, one more time. It's still and the one time, time that I felt like that was the case was when I was playing like a, like a Call of Duty or if I was playing some type of game like that where I was just like, oh, one more match, one more time. Let's just go one more time. And this gave me those same feelings of wanting to keep going more and more and more because I want to see how much better I can get and how much better the game game can get and i just wanted to keep going and going and going now the animation of it uh it very much is very smooth uh very much uh quick for fighting uh it, i really like the animation the cosmetics everything that they ended up doing with that aspect of the game now i thought it, it had the, that really really cool pop-up 
uh, where you're going into your conversation, you get a pop up of who you're talking to and you have full voiceover, which was really, really nice. Now, I really recommend that you guys go out, pick up Hades, give it a try, get instantly hooked and you're going to you're going to absolutely love it. I don't I don't know why you wouldn't want to just continue to play. It's fantastic. So all right. So everybody, thank you very much for taking this Iron Lords podcast first look at Hades. Now, if you guys are looking to check out the Iron Lords podcast, check us out on Sundays. And remember, check out our um, lordsofgaming.net, which is where you're going to find all your gaming needs and everything you're going to find is right there. We have our reviews. We have our knowledge of games that are coming out. We have everything going on that you can think of. It's fantastic. So thank you all very much and have a fantastic day. Bye, everybody. Two, hold X, uh, hold attack to strike rapidly. Two percent damage per hit. Your your attack deals bonus damage equal to five percent of your current gold. Your attack fires a wave that pierces foes dealing damage. Oh. Each time the built to ensure no one gets out. We'll see about that. It's really interesting because every time you do this, it always looks different. Close the gap. Mine now. Come meet my blade. several really anyway <laughs> uh, Apollo I heard about you. Oh, Artemis Look, mm. I'm not like all the others on Olympus the power of the hunt helps keep me company so maybe it'll help you did you get the vid results no not till Monday we won't know till Monday do it deals more damage your special is stronger the power of the hunt sounds like good company yep. to keep so we won't know until Monday. But more than likely We'll see how this goes. Ooh. That's additional HP. That looks like food, which means health. So we're gonna go with HP, overall HP. Ooh, money. HP. Instant provides one time benefit when acquired. Should keep yeah. points. I ate like 30 pieces of sushi today from a sushi buffet. So much regret. There's never any regret from too much sushi. I would eat more than that and be okay. I normally get three rolls. Three rolls, guys. Three rolls. Three rolls of sushi. Okay? That's three. Six. So three times six is 21 right there. And then 
I'll get two or three regular little sushi pieces. And I I I'm in heaven. And I can still eat more. There's never any regret. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's on like Donkey Kong right now, my friends. Gotta step it up. Dude, I can't wait for Shadowlands to come out. I am so ready for it. I couldn't see that. Oh. Not a good round. I don't know what this is. I'm going this way. This is going to be a harder boss room. But I, we know what the boss is, and that's going to be easy. So. After you take damage, your foes around you have the effect of weak. That's nice. And the power to break hearts. Oh sure, my see. god, Batty. Thank you so much for the six months tier sub. Thank you very much, Betty. Greatly appreciate you. Lots of love. Thanks once again. So remember, guys. I appreciate you guys for resubbing and being around right now because I know that it's going to be very, very difficult because Warcraft is kind of meh. I am the alpha sub. <laughs> well, I appreciate you for coming and being that alpha sub. I appreciate you coming and hanging out. Remember, now is the time that you guys should be stacking points, right? You stack channel points now. So when we get to doing Mythic Plus carries again, you can just be asking for carries. And on top of that, we're going to be changing point values for runs and stuff like that. So it's going to be awesome for you guys. You got like 33 what? 33 runs? What, are you just sitting in the channel all day? Oh, you, like I'm, ex I'm expecting a lot of you guys who are regulars who don't normally use channel points. Oh, no. No! 